Hello everybody, in this video I am reviewing this watch. This is the Casio W21H watch in camo. And uh, you might have seen some of my prior Casio and G-Shock reviews. I think the last one I did was the F108 model in red, and I'll post a link on the top right for that. So this watch is a bit of an upgrade from that watch, from the F108 line. Both of those are under US $20. I think this one actually, the technical uh, retail price on it is only like $15.99 or something. On Amazon, it does tend to sometimes run a little bit higher, uh, especially like with Amazon Prime and stuff. Some of the sellers, um, you know, kind of uh, mark it up a little bit, but it's still under like 20 And the main difference is the case looks more beefy, so it looks more like a G-Shock. And also, the water resistance is now 50 meters, whereas the F108 line just says water resistant and they don't really rate it uh, to 50 meters. So it's just like more like splash resistant where this one you can actually, you know, go down to 50 meters with if you want. And then also the strap is a little different as well. This is definitely more um, like G-Shock like in terms of the way that it looks, as you can see here. Whereas the F-108 is kind of a, a smaller watch. It's a little bit thinner as well. Um, this is a little bit more beefy. But this is how it looks on the wrist. And I really like this camo version. I think the camo version is really cool. You can get the W218 in several different colors. You can get it in a standard black. Um, you can also get it in a green. Um, but I'm just really digging this uh, camo quite a bit. So this is how it looks on the wrist. And let me go ahead and take it off the wrist and we'll take a closer look at the look at watch. So this is the watch off the wrist and I think that this is a really good deal. Um, it's just an awesome looking watch. It looks kind of like a G-Shock. It's almost like a poor man's G-Shock in a way. But I think for this price, you just can't beat it. Um, you know, it doesn't have a mineral crystal like the G-Shocks have, so it has an acrylic crystal. So the crystal can scratch a little bit easier than like a G-Shock. However, because of the fact that it's got the acrylic crystal, you can actually polish it if you get scratches. There's something called Poly Watch, which is like a little paste that you can polish um, the acrylic crystal with. I'll post a link uh, in the description for, for that. So that's certainly one plus, and I don't think that's that big a deal. Certainly, it's not going to be as durable as a G-Shock. It's not going to be as indestructible. But for under $20, if you do destruct this watch, which is kind of unlikely, quite frankly, because it is still pretty durable. Um, but, you know, it's not uh, it wouldn't be a total loss since you only paid under $20 for it. It's also a really good travel watch. Like if you lose it somewhere or forget it in a hotel room or something, it's not going to be like the end of the world. Um, so I like it for kind of an everyday kind of go anywhere type of watch for that reason. So as you can see, it's got a really kind of nice design and this is the back of it. The battery inside is a seven year battery, so um, it's supposed to last about seven years, but it's actually user replaceable. So you can just take a tiny little screwdriver and open up the back and you can actually um, replace the battery yourself super easily. Um, so that's really a plus as well. And also the great thing about this as well as the F-108 is the backlight. It has a really good backlight. Let me turn off the light and I'll show that to you. Okay, with the light off here, let me do the backlight. You can see here it's really quite bright. It's like a nice amber backlight there you can kind of see so um the backlight is really really cool and i really like the amber color on it as well now of course if you're using the backlight constantly and pressing that button a lot your battery probably won't last the full seven years um, but i think for occasional use it's fine this also has an alarm function as well so you can set an alarm and then it also has the hourly function as well if you want to turn that on where it will chime every hour and then it has a stopwatch as well so the thing about the stopwatch is um, it doesn't have a timer. So it does not have a countdown timer. It only has a stopwatch that goes forward. Um, so that's something to be aware of. And then we're back to the main screen. So it's real simple in terms of the designs. Uh, I think I think it would be nice if it had a countdown timer because I find that more useful than a stopwatch actually. Just in everyday use, you're doing things like timing your cooking and stuff like that. So it's just a little bit more useful to be alerted uh, with a countdown timer you know, versus a stopwatch. But Again, for the price, uh, I really can't complain. And this is the box that it comes in. It comes in kind of the standard Casio non G-Shock type of box. And the watch is made in China. So yeah, this doesn't compare to a G-Shock in terms of the fit and finish or the durability or quality of it. 
But um, again, for $20, uh, it's very comfortable. It's a very light watch. It seems quite durable. You know, of course the case is all plastics, whereas, you know, the G-Shock has like a metal case, which is covered in plastic. So there's definitely, you know, build quality differences there. But again, folks, for the price, I mean, this thing is under 20 US dollars. So, so check my links in the description field for where you can get one of your own. And, the, and I think this one is pretty unique because I really like the camo um, sort of bezel on this watch. I think the camo looks um, just really cool. Uh, it would be kind of nice if the whole watch and the case and everything was camo. I mean, that would be kind of a cool look. But the camo on this is just kind of a unique look and it just sets itself apart a little bit from just the standard black. But you can also get standard black as well in this watch. And of course, it's a quartz watch, so it's uh, quite accurate. I think they say the accuracy is plus or minus 30 seconds monthly. So it would only um, change up to 30 seconds every month, which is highly accurate. So thanks for watching. This has been my look at the Camo W218H watch by Casio. See you in my next video, everybody.